and good evening YouTube community guys and girls it is your boy back in the building back in the situation corner coming directly from New York City live to you Paul Pierce is he still crying on that sports network about the retirement and the thing with IT well you know what yeah Laker Nation but I'm gonna tell you why even though as much as I hate Paul Pierce and the Boston Celtics they're doing him dirty. And in case you're wondering who I am and where you are, well, simple. I'm Lex, An I'm Lex Anderson, and you have entered the Sports Opinion Log. All right, folks, you know how we do. We're going to hit the ground running. But before we hit the ground, is don't forget. This video, like all videos, are sponsored by my hair company at CelebrityHairCore.com. Check us out for our grade 8A virgin human hair extensions and let us make you look like the hashtag CHC star you are. And also follow us on Twitter at CelebHairCore for our special social media prices that you will not find online. All right, folks. First and foremost, shout out, Laker Nation, 24-7, you know what the deal is, hashtag Laker Nation, hashtag all day, every day. But there is an injustice being done out there in the realm of the NBA. Paul Pierce, retirement night, and somehow IT4 being given some dopey ceremony that he pretty much doesn't deserve. I talked about it in the last video. Scroll through my library, which you can only do if you subscribe. So while you're here, make sure you just subscribe right now. Just get it out the way. Press that subscribe button to your right. On your way back, drop a thumbs up. Type in a comment below. And make sure to follow my Facebook sports group at the Sports Opinion Log to stay in the know. I talked about it before. IT4, great job. Truly, you captivated even me and America playing in a playoff game the day after your sister, unfortunately, had passed. But he doesn't deserve a ceremony, okay? He's not a champion. This much is true. But then I saw on, this, on the uh, sports network some doofus talking about how Paul Pierce is in Kobe Bryant which we know that. We know, we know that. That's why I'm wearing this, right? That's why I'm wearing this jersey. We know Paul Pierce isn't Kobe Bryant. Never has, never was, never will be. But I had to dig through the stats to see, what, who is Paul Pierce? And this is what I have here. Played with the Celtics from 1998 to 2013. 10th overall draft pick. NBA champion, 2008, and finals MVP. Formed the Big Three in 2007 with Ray Allen and KG, Kevin Garnett. Wow. Nicknamed the Truth by Shaquille O'Neal in March 2001. That must have been an all-star game, obviously, to earn a nickname The Truth. Only him, him being Paul Pierce, Bird being Larry Bird, and Havlicek are the only three Celtics to score 20,000 or more points with the Celtics. Here's his stats with the Celtics. Games played, number three, 1,102. Points, he's number two with 24,021. Field goals, number three, 7,882. Three-pointers, number one, 1,823. Assists, number five, 4,305. Rebounds, seventh on the list, 6,651. And steals, number one, 1,583. Folks, as much as I hate the Celtics and their racist fans and the organization and their fan base, as much as I hate everything in Boston, Red Sox, New England, Patriots, all that garbage, he is a champion. That cannot be denied. He's clearly a top 10 player in Celtic history. Did you know that Kevin Garnett, when he was with the Celtics, won NBA All-Defensive Player 
and was the first Celtic to accomplish that? How about our men of color, folks? That's why I'm even making this video about Paul Pierce, who came out from L.A., who despised the Celtics growing up. And Paul Pierce wanted to be a Laker. Yeah, can't blame him. Maybe that's why the organization is treating him so shady for his childhood dreams, for what he grew up believing was the right path. And that's to hate the Boston Celtics. I'm sure he must have been torn up inside when they drafted him, to be honest with you. But he stayed there, he played, he persevered. And he also hit a lot of game-winning buzzer beaters over the Knicks that, as a New Yorker, had me laughing with that fadeaway, with that turnaround. Top of the key. Like, I can remember the way Paul Pierce would just annihilate and break Knicks fans' hearts. And I found it hilarious being a New Yorker because it was Paul Pierce, right? Hashtag the truth. He's done his day. He's done his day. He's left his mark on the game. Unfortunately, he ended his career being a vagabond, going to the Wizards, and then the loser Clippers. And he never made a difference with any of those teams. They added him for veteran leadership or some other garbage or nonsense. And he never fulfilled the prophecy of bringing the truth let alone a conference final, definitely not a championship, to those teams that really could have used a real leader. And he definitely didn't do anything when he was in with Brooklyn, with the Brooklyn Nets. That was just, I don't know what that was. That was just the Nets giving away their future for an old-ass player who pretty much had nothing left. So don't get me wrong. I'm here to show how shady the Celtics organization truly is and who they are to a great African-American NBA player. That is the purpose of the video. That's why you're tuning into the Sports Opinion Log to hear what the truth really is. And the truth is, when Ray Allen and KG got there in 2007, they only won one measly championship. They were never a dynasty. They were never a dynasty in the making. They just won one measly championship. Because guess what, folks? In 2010, when they went back to the finals against the Lakers, yeah, who walked off with that? That would be the legendary living legend, Kobe Bryant. Thank you very much. Special shout out to Ron Artest, Metal World Peace, for helping seal the deal in that game seven. Whew, what a dramatic game. So yeah, Pierce is a champion, but that big three was never a dynasty. They were a bunch of frauds. When I last checked, KG was an easy first round elimination when he played with the Minnesota Timberwolves. And Ray Allen, well, he was just a good scorer who then ended his career by being a bandwagon biatch. But at least Paul Pierce has his one solitary championship reign. Because that's all you need in the sports world. Just be a championship once. That's all you need. That's why I post the videos. The videos of a champion. One good hit is all I need. That's why I'm here. That's why you're tuning in. So Paul Pierce, hopefully the Celtics will do you right. IT4, don't show up. Just put on your street clothes and sit on the sidelines. You don't deserve any kind of ceremony. Okay, speaking of deserving, I'm hearing that all-star selections will be out either tomorrow or later this week. Ooh, can't wait to see that. But speaking of all-stars, CP3, a.k.a. CP0, him, Harden, Ariza, what's going on over there? Clippers, Rockets, Backway Tunnels, lax NBA security, not doing their job. What's going on? CP0 is clearly familiar with the tunnels and the hallways of the Staples State of the Staples Center, excuse me. Where security to make sure that these things don't happen. What were they going to talk about? As far as I'm concerned, CP3, aka CP0, has done nothing except commercialize himself. Him and Kia Griffin. Barking at each other on the court like a couple of lame-ass bitches. And speaking of lame-ass bitches, 
What's with all these NBA scuffles, these wannabe fights? How can you be standing so close to someone? That would be the Orlando game or something like that. I saw a clip. A player threw a punch at point-blank range. He missed. Folks, don't let the media brainwash you. These guys are very well paid on the court and in their commercialized lives. No one's going to get jumped. No one's going to beat anybody up. No one's going to get into a real physical fight. Because the average player earns $5.5 million a year. Average player, okay? We're not even discussing the superstars, the all-stars, Kia Griffin, CP0, who, as the, lead, as the head of the players' union, should definitely show more tact. His behavior is an abomination. And as an African-American man, he's setting us back a couple of years with his behavior. Hopefully the players' union will vote and oust him. He needs to be outed. Hell, he can't even get to a conference final, so he, he's got to be shown the door somewhere because he's already been shown the door in the playoffs. Uh, and speaking of playoffs, is OKC even in contention for the A spot? I said it once, I said it before. Dismantle that team. It's a failure. Westbrook can average a triple-double with ordinary players, but you put them with superstars, it just doesn't work. Why is that? He played with Durant and Harden at the same time. It didn't work. He played with Durant. It didn't work. Serge Ibaka didn't work. Victor, Open, Victor who's with the uh, Pacers now, Olin Depot, didn't work. Clearly, we know what the problem is. It's Westbrook, another commercialized player. Maybe he needs to stop making Mountain Dew commercials. Focus on the game. Make sure that him... And PG-13 and Mello on the same page. In between your fashion line. At the Met Gala or wherever you go. But speaking of go. We've come to an end. Of this wonderful video. Folks, I look forward to seeing you on the other side. This is your boy Lex Anderson. Papa Mike Holla. I'm signing out.